Welcome to my dog customizing journey. My name is Josephine and these are my creatures. Welcome to another video in my rainbow repaint series where you guys get to vote on what color we are doing next. In the last vote you guys chose green and that is what we are doing today. If you want to vote on the next color in the series, you can go to my community tab and find the poll there or you can comment down below. To see the previous colors, blue and purple, click the eye in the upper right hand corner of the screen. For the base of this repaint, I decided to use Venus Mac Flytrap because I only had one limitation, it needs to be green, and she was just spot on. I love the iconic hot pink hair, but it has one shortcoming. It's not green, so off it comes. We need a blank canvas to work on, so I use acetone and q-tips to remove her original paint. I do like the bold eyeshadow that Venus is rocking, but again, it ain't green. Great way to remove flocking is to soak it with acetone and then use something sharp to scrape it off. I'm using my tweezers. Off comes her head. I leave the doll in for a very short time. Usually I return the kettle to the kitchen and the time I'm back the head is already softer. I like to use pliers for this particular step of removing the stubble, but you can also use tweezers or a flat-headed screwdriver. The newer dolls don't have glue inside the head anymore, which is nice. All clean. I give the body a light sanding to prep it for the repainting. I like to shorten the neck peg, it just makes it easier for me to put the head back on. I gave the doll a full coat of sealant. Then the end of the world happened. Every single clip that I have filmed were gone. Just poof. All of what you just saw to this point were refilmed. Here is the original finished doll and the second Venus that I used as a stand-in to refilm the entire beginning of this video. I cannot even describe the feeling when I realized that all of the clips for one entire video deleted. So here is some memes to describe how I felt. After I had recovered from my shock, I needed to decide what to do. Should I just skip the entire video, redo the video and redo the doll? So basically make two dolls. Or just try and piece together a video. I decided to refilm what I can, so the beginning that you just saw was all refilmed. I decided not to redo everything, but to fix some of the things that I was not happy about, like the leaves on her forehead, and film that. Because life is ups and downs, and what really matters in the end is not the fact that you fell down or made a mistake or crappy things just happened to you. It's about getting up and doing the most with what you have. Now, all of you might be wondering what happened, and I'm not going to do a delightful and not tell you any details. 
To give you guys some context, I share a computer with my boyfriend. He uses it to play video games and I use it for my videos. I had finished filming this video and the beginning of another one when my memory card got full. My boyfriend was using the computer, so I asked if I could empty the card. And he said, no, I'm in the middle of something, but I can do it for you. And I said, okay, I need to empty the card. He opened the files and pressed delete. And my heart skipped a beat. But he often teases me, so I was like, He's joking. He's joking. And I said, stop fooling around. So he was like, okay. And pressed the confirm to delete. And I just freaked out. So communication is everything. He thought that me saying to empty the card was to just do that, empty it. And the fastest way to do that is to delete. And I didn't specify that I wanted to have the files downloaded. I thought it was obvious what was in the card. So I've learned my lesson and he's learned not to touch anything related to my videos. After I had glossed the eyes and lips, I prepped the yarn. If I want shorter hair, I just wrap the yarn around my hand. If you want longer hair, use something that is bigger. After the yarn is cut, you need to tie it off to something. You can use barbecue sticks, long handled brushes, whatever. I'm using popsicle sticks because that is what I have at hand and I don't need my wefts to be that long so it doesn't matter that they are a little thick. Use a metal pet comb to fluff out the yarn. Hair straightener is great if you want a smooth texture to your hair, so this step is optional. Cut out the fibers and glue them down to a plastic surface. I'm using a random Ziploc bag. A silicone tool is handy for spreading the glue around. Trim the wefts after they have dried. Start applying the wefts at the nape of the neck and work your way up. Here is the finished hairstyle. And now I want to add some decorations. I had this selection of green beads, so I'm creating a headpiece for her. I also added these green sections of hair that I saved from my Christmas reindeer doll. I will link that video up on the screen and in the description box below.
I love that you guys select a green because I got to start off 2021 with a really nice color and I think it works really well for new beginnings, new year, I wish just that I wouldn't have to hassle with deleting all the files and everything but in the end I really do like how the doll came out. Thank you guys so much for watching! Subscribe if you haven't yet done that, like this video and leave a comment. I would love to know what color we should do after green. Until next time, bye!